Hello and welcome to the Cubed Core. My name is Colin and welcome back to Helldivers episode 69. I'm going to place us up here. There. Alright, so. This time I will be showing off the uh, Exostute uh, Mark III, which it's fully upgraded as I stated, you know, Mark III. Which, uh, first it starts out normal, then when you upgrade it once it gets extra magazine. And then when you upgrade it to its maximum, that's when it gets good. Because then it can destroy tanks with its missiles. It is anti-tank, which is extremely useful. So yeah, I'm Pitch Galaxy, the one on the far left. Adrian, you may recognize uh, from episode 68. Oh right, this is part 12 in the uh, Helldivers Vanilla series. But yeah, you may recognize him from part 11 slash episode 68. Which, by the way, episode 69. <laughs> I'm so childish. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and then Genhote is just some other guy. But he's not just some other guy. I know I just said he's just some other guy, but he's not. Okay? We are all a very important piece of our team puzzle. And normally I don't say things like that. Normally I don't call us a team, I just call us a whole bunch of people playing together trying to get the mission done. We're doing it pretty crappily because we all die all the time. But no. This time we're a team. A well-organized team. We all have specific roles and they are the three required roles. Team leader is generally a good thing to have, but team leader is generally the yellow guy slash, you know, whoever just starts to say move and whoever pulls up the map the most which would be me, so, you know. But, we also have the two other roles, or the three other roles. Since I am the mech suit, guess what I am? Muscles, I'm the beefy guy, you know. I'm like a bouncer. I make sure the enemies don't touch my teammates. I'm the defender, whatever you want to call it. Then, we have Adrian who is like the technician, I guess. He does all the missions. You know, he in if there's something that needs to be input, he inputs it. And then we have uh, Genhote, and this other guy who just joined us, I have no idea what he does, but Genhote, he's the team medic. Not even kidding you. Team medic, yes. The thing that I suggested that every team should have in the previous episode. You know, along with having some other things that are basically required. But yeah, look, he's even basically what I said. Like, he is everything, well, almost everything that I suggested a team medic should have. Team medic can also have the quicker revive thing instead of the displacement field. But he is almost perfect as to what I stated he should be. He is the shield, and he has the... Uh, the healer thing, which is the requirements to be a team medic, and thus he is team medic. Bam! So, our objective is to protect him and to get the other objectives done. And Adrian, yeah, he's the guy who does stuff, as I stated. You know, he's a really good teammate. You know, as you saw, I just backed up next to him while he was inputting the sequence. He just input the sequence, and I was just like, yep, nope, protecting you. And uh, I took those enemies straight down. Which, it's actually really cool to be able to see that there's an actually good team. You know, we're an actually well-oiled, well-organized team, except for our movement. Our movement still needs a little, you know, finagling. But otherwise, our actual, you know, when we get to a mission is perfect. Oh, well, we're going the wrong way. But yeah, I mean, there are only like four things. There's like team leader, which as I stated, can be anyone. Um, and then there's, you know. Oh, I wonder if I can take those down. Oh, hang on. No, I cannot. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. Nuke them. Protect the teammates at all costs. But yeah, I can't think of a fourth thing that someone would be except for like tactician 
Oh, tactician incoming! Healer down! Meat bag! <laughs> There's another class. You're going down, Mr. Tank. Oh, you are down. Eh. Okay. Let's move. Let's move. But yeah. Actually having two tacticians would probably be best because then they can still have other stratagems, but if you only have three people, having one person that has all the required stratagems is best. And then of course having a meat, you know, beefy guy and then a healer. Having those three people and of course, you know, swapping off occasionally is nice. Uh, but you want to make sure whoever's the healer, you know, they're most comfortable with being the healer because most people don't think it takes much to be a healer, but it seriously takes a lot. I know this because I've been healer almost every single time in every single game that I've played. And it doesn't take a lot of skill or anything, but it does take a lot of self-endurance. You know, it's just... It's not nearly as fun to just sit back and heal as it is to go in their guns blazing. So be thankful that you have that healer because that healer is giving up, you know, being super happy fun for helping the team and I just died. That's okay, my thing was basically out anyways. So yeah. Well, I'm glad I wasn't there when that came down. Seriously, what the frick, guys? Oh no, we don't have a me. We don't have meat. We don't have meat. We don't have a baby guy. Uh. Come on, freaking mech suit. Of course it squishes me. Of course, that's just what my mech suit would totally do. Freaking, that's the second time that my Mexus just decided to land wherever it wants. It's just like, hey buddy, I want to land here. There we go. Crap, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Fail. Oh well, now we just have to do two others. No, why not? Oh crap. Okay. Took care of the tank, but our healer's down. That's bad. We need to stay alive while our healer gets back up. Stay away from the healer. Where could it be? Oh, shoot. Sorry, I ran right into you. Where could the freaking thing be? No, 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 no. no. Stay away from our teammate. Where could this thing be? I get the feeling it's over this way. Shoot. Ha ha! You're done, son! Get wrecked! Down this way. It's down this way. There's no way- oh wait, no, it could be up there, okay. Okay, careful. Easy does it. Easy does it. Where the frick is this thing? What? Where to? Okay? I am confused. This is why I muscle. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah. Oh, right. I've hardly said anything about the mech suit itself. Well, mech suit. It's like a second skin that if you don't get out of it fast enough, it only acts as a first skin. Meaning it'll blow up in your face and kill you anyways. Um... It... 
it's really powerful, has a lot of freaking ammo. If you upgrade it, it can take down tanks. There's really no downside to this thing. It acts, the only thing that's downside to it is you can squish your own teammates and you can't help your teammates up. Uh, or, you know, you can't do anything that is X-wise, meaning you can't, like, interact with things, uh, and you can't help teammates up, you also damage teammates when you walk on them. Uh, but you can still call in stratagems, you still do a lot more damage than you normally do, and you still have extra skin, plus if you have your missiles still, you can take down freaking tanks if you fully upgraded it, so, you know, it's really good, but it's also kind of... Eh, because, you know, you can't help your teammates. That's bad. Where the heck is this thing? Wish I had my radar on me right now. Sorry, just trying to help. Trying to help. Where is this freaking thing? Excuse me? Just gonna take these guys out from behind you? We're not spreading out far enough. It's over there. There's only one spot we haven't explored, and it's over here, which means it's got to be over here. Right? Where is this thing? Oh, right there! There it is, finally, found it. Alright. Time to move into position. Defense position. What the frick? Oh, he threw it down over there. Okay, good. It's not gonna blow up my thing. Though it nearly did! I nearly died. That's awesome. Thanks, dude. Totally feel much safer when there was a nuke that went off right next to me. So, yeah, really not much to say about the mech suit. Besides awesome mech suit. You are in a freaking mech suit. What more is there that you want? What more is there that needs to be said? Mech suit. Get one. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. Yup. No! Adrian! We lost one of our teammates who was here for the past few rounds. He will be remembered. He will not be forgotten. Farewell, Adrian. Farewell. Yeah, probably only gonna be able to get this thing down and then that's it. Uh, for the recording. So, yeah. You know what the rest is though, I'm just getting the ship and get out. I'll probably die a lot. Probably won't. We don't know. Actually, um... When I was finishing up the lava planet, we actually didn't die a single time. Yeah. Level 9. No deaths. It was awesome to see, and I was just like, we never died? Holy crap, I feel awesome. We got full three stars. Because we never died. Yeah, nice. When in doubt, duck and cover, then your teammates will shoot over you. Especially if you're me. Because I'll, I, if you duck and cover, I'll be like, yeah, time to kill motherfuckers. Spray and pray! So, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to help me out, hit the share button and tell your friends. My social media will be in the description. And after this thing launches... After it launches... There we go. Right. Well. Yep. See you in the next video.